What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of This Is The Police. Sorry, I got to charge up for it. I had to charge up my battery. It just wasn't there yet. It just wasn't quite on the level that I needed it to be in order to have like the motivation and kind of the explosive power. So, anyways, welcome on back. We're probably gonna go to jail soon. We're already bribing people. We're only three weeks into our adventure as a police chief. I'm already working with the mafia. I've already taken like sixty-five thousand dollars in bribes. I have considered killing two of my officers, seriously. Just sending them off to have them whacked by the Mafia. I mean, it is... It's been a weird transformation for me. My metamorphosis, I was expecting a butterfly. And when I came out of the cocoon, I was an even uglier worm. It's like, man, the things that are inside don't ever give me responsibility, Nerdcastle. Don't make me in charge of anything. Don't make me in charge of anything. Chimen. John Sangster. Sure, why not? I love infringing on copyrights. This series is going to explode one day. I know it. I'm just going to be getting tagged. Let's see. We can request a job slot. A raise. A detective slot. I'm going to ask for an expansion of our officers, please. So we will send that in on the 5th. We have to make sure that we have Asian officers present. Disorderly conduct on a playground. It's a children's playground. There's supposed to be disorderly conduct. That's what kids do there. A young mo mother reported that an old man in rags entered the playground, climbed the hill, and began shouting, The universe is made of suffering and hatred. I will kill all of you. The outraged mother shouted back, Go away, you're scaring the children. That's not what my lady would have shouted back. It, it would have been a bit more violent. It would have been one of those Spartan, like, Come and claim them moments. But, um... Let's see here. Who is worth sending on something like this? We'll send Subaki and Austin. Should be good enough. Sounds fine to me. I don't want to send too many officers out. If we've got room for an extra officer, I should like to add them to this shift right here. It looks like we are missing people. We've got six and we've got seven on that shift, so yes, indeed. Oh, the cop slot doesn't come in until tomorrow. God, these officers suck. I really wish it would cycle my officers for me. That'd be fantastic. Do we have anything that we need to do over here? We've got just some money. Nope, everybody's looking happy with the sands. We don't have anything else going on. 35 grand. You gotta be pretty desperate to spend 35 grand silencing an investigation. That's pretty much all the money we've made so far, and I'm guessing that's gonna be like our score at the end of the game. Like how good we were at just being corrupt assholes. You know, that lady never paid us for coming and making donuts for the day. Just saying. I mean, can you imagine the jokes when you came back smelling like a donut fryer at the police office? I mean, come on. The donut fryer. Everyone wishes to become a donut fryer, but you must make the proper propitiations to the cardinal before you can become the donut fryer. We've got a bomb threat. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. It's probably a false alarm. Bomb threats often are. Unfortunately, police have to respond to what might be, not what is. An anonymous tip just came in. Some thugs are messing around with plastic explosive in the basement of an abandoned house and are handing it out to children along with toys. Good lord. Alright, send every... No, send... Send who we can afford to not have with us. Send SWAT as well. Proceed. Pipe bombs are serious business, bro. Somebody put pipe bombs in mailboxes where I lived one time, and it, like, blew a dude up. It was crazy. People were all terrified to go get their mail, and I was like, it was one guy out of, like, 120, 30, 40, 50,000 people. It's not gonna be you. It's just one mailbox, and I guess you could divide the number by four, because people live in houses. But still, dude, there's nobody else to send. Alright, send another person. Here comes the Sands mission. I'm calling it now. Calling it now. Here comes the Sands mission. Although, this is pretty much the only call we've had today. That guy messing around on the playground. Yep, told you. There's going to be something going on. We're just going to have to miss out on assault. Two trucks collided on a country road near the forest, and the police were called by a motorcyclist who was driving past. One of the trucks rolled over, caught fire, but the driver managed to escape the flames. So he grabbed a stick from the side of the road, set it on fire, and is now threatening the other driver who has locked himself. You're going to need more than a burning stick to scare me. He's a trucker. He's used to this shit. Most truckers got gats in the car anyways. Just blaze that fool. 
Come on, just buck ha! Catch him with the gun that looks like the Joker's gun. If I was a trucker, that's what my gun would look like. It'd be a big ass revolver. Holy shit. I mean, I sent everybody. I don't know what they want me to do there. Like, I don't like impossible events like that. Events that are gonna be, like, nasty no matter what you do. Because officers were killed in the exchange. Bring it to the police station. That's, like, investigations bait. Uh, affairs. We gotta hire some officers, I guess. We have three dead officers. When do I get to hire? Oh, man. Jesus. That's definitely rough. That's really rough. Assault on the road. I don't really care about that. We lost three officers. Jesus. That's like really, really bad. We've got an armed robbery at a pawn shop. For Sam, the wife of a young banker who recently helped us make quite a substantial deal, just called up in tears, saying some creeps cornered her husband in the garage. Says they tied him up and they're threatening to light him on fire. Vargas goons, no doubt. And that was after I sent SWAT out there. Think about that for a minute. We had SWAT in on that one too, and officers ended up dead. Subaki and Purdy are major losses. Austin, she's not that good, so. She's replaceable. These two, on the other hand, I don't really know what to say right now. That's a rough one. I mean, at least we have. Ooh, we got jewelry? Yeah! Mafia can sell that for us. Let's make a little money off that shiz. Let's make a little money. I'm still hurting from having to pay off. You got one new frame. Open the investigation. There it is. We were missing that one frame. I feel better. I feel better. I was starting to feel a little stupid. I was like, man, if it's all right here, I feel like I really picked this one apart and I got it right. Rafael Campos, the museum security guard who thought he'd earn some money for his old age from the new painting that had everybody talking. Obviously, we're probably not going to go get him today. We should probably wait till next shift. On the plus side, having lost those officers, we... Sands need help. They want to discuss the Vargas situation. The meeting was supposed to happen in the forest outside the city, but the scouts sighted a group of punks hanging around. Sure would like to see the look on their faces when the police roll up from out of the blue. Yeah, we'll save the investigation for later. Let's just make sure we stay on the Mafia's good side, considering we got them fencing all kinds of loot and shit for us. With dead cops, I don't feel good about that. We need the evidence to be in the locker on that one. Yeah. If that bomb shows up in another place, usually bombs have telltale signs of, like... Who made them and stuff like that and that just has too many strings attached the jewelry on the other hand I'm like oh no maybe he had an accomplice the jewelry just disappeared it's not my fault I wonder what happens when cops die because that was let's see each of your employees receives a weekly salary the ones who are still alive anyways but if you bury the paperwork, you can pull in some money from the deceased officer's salaries. So long as they're alive and healthy on paper, City Hall keeps printing perfectly healthy paychecks. Uh, yeah, declare dead, declare dead, declare dead. I'm not going to do that right now. It does seem like a great way to sweep some cash. But that could fall apart way too quickly. Money allocated for stadium reconstruction now. Missing homeless man wins $23 million. Looming epidemic. It's weird that three cops ended up dead and it's not on the front page. You'd think the media would be all over that one. Looming epidemic, the new flu. This is bad, everybody. This is bad. Our shift definitely took a hit right there. Robbins didn't come into work today. Mosier didn't come into work today. Well, 
that hurts. That hurts a lot. That hurts like a lot, a lot. But it's to be expected. Officers with high professionality probably aren't going to stay when there's a lot of criminal shit going on. So we live with it. We live with it and we move forward. We're going to be on a hiring spree today. That makes sense why I couldn't hire new officers because you got to declare them dead at the end of the day. I, I, don't ex I don't know how they expected you to handle that bomb threat. Like, if you're just going to lose people, I would have just rather not showed up. Alright, two affairs at the police station. We've got Officer George Mitchell. Um, we need Kudao on shift for tomorrow because the guy from the city, the Asian mayor from the city next over, is going to be here. Let's hire him for shift A. How are our detective slots still full? We lost Mosier, didn't we? That's weird. Why are Mosher and Robin still here? Huh. That's odd. How old is Carmen Brooke? Is she fireable? I mean, there's a bunch of filler cops right now. Let's hire you for B. So maybe they didn't quit. They just didn't come in for work. Oh, that's right. The testifying, the hearing was here today. So they both called in sick. That makes sense. We bought their silence. I thought they kept their silence by quitting. Like the last time somebody didn't come in for work today, we lost the officer, I think. So that's embarrassing. All right. That's, I don't care. That's, that's fine. I would rather be wrong and spend a bunch of time lamenting it than be right and have to deal with the fallout of losing two really good officers so that's cool I can live with it um, the next thing we needed to do is we need to move him to shift B they're gonna need help over here so Kudao should help them flesh out their ranks and then what we'll do is we will hire uh, I wonder if she's old enough to fire for age. Hire her for B with the intent of firing her after somebody better comes up for her age. Although you're not allowed to do that either, by the way. Nerdcastle, you're not allowed to fire people. It's called age discrimination, and you can definitely get yourself a big fat lawsuit for it. Robbery, port warehouse. An alarm has gone off in one of the port warehouses. The guard assigned to the site is not responding. But the storekeeper says there is nothing unusual. Apparently, the guard is an old man who regularly drinks and even sleeps in the warehouse. The room where the alarm went off stores fresh or frozen fish. Uh, send jizz. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now, Ollie? Ollie's on my lap. He just cut the biggest fart ever. It's super stinky. It's the worst, and I hate it. Wolf is not on shift today. So we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to make those arrests, too, I think. Wait, there is Wolf on shift today. Hold on. Close that down. Wolf, are you on shift today? Yeah, Wolf is on shift B, I was going to say. I don't really want to send officers after his investigation if he's not ready to go on it. Sands needs help. Vargas men armed with flamethrowers burned down a city parkway named in Sands' honor. This is definitely a job for the police. Send Jack Black. He'll do it with the power of his rock cage. Rage cage. The businessman is coming tomorrow. We hope everything is ready. You can hire another police officer, so we should probably do that. But I'm going to wait because I don't want Stephen Colbert on my team right now. He's not very good at police work. It's not that he's not funny. He's just not good at police work. We'll leave that where it lies. And we'll hire once we have somebody better on the roster. The robbery report. The alarm was triggered by a flock of birds. The guard was drunk and in the company of a prostitute. 
Well, a crime was taking place there. To be fair, there was a crime that was being committed. Prostitution is illegal, like everywhere, except for Nevada, because nothing's illegal in Nevada. Which is actually pretty awesome. But however, I honestly, I'm a fan of just like make everything legal and then just tax the shit out of all of it so that it becomes an encumbrance to do any of the vice things. I don't believe that vice should be cut off from people. If they want to pay for it, let them pay for it. And then make a 30%, 25% tax that's just slapped on top of it. It has to be paid, otherwise you do jail time for tax evasion. Eh. And elderly man, we need new roads. I'm just saying. My car almost gets caught in a pothole every five feet. An elderly man, while taking a nighttime walk with his dog, spotted a man and woman entering a dark alley. He then heard the woman cry out, Help, he's trying to rape me. This could be a false alarm, but we'll respond as though it's true. It's not too far out, so... There's another investigation. Okay, we'll put them on that. We have no gang investigations. Unfortunately, I need to have Wolf on hand to arrest these guys. Because if you mess up on one of these investigations, it's really, really, really bad. You don't want to screw up investigations. You lose Buku points. A wounded man is lying unconscious beside a woman in a torn dress. The woman is in a state of shock and is hiding something behind her back. Um... I mean, honestly, I think a police officer would probably be like, show me your hands. Hiding your hands from a police officer is probably a bad plan. However, they're playing my compassion against my adherence to standard operating procedure right now. That's exactly what they're doing. They're playing my empathy versus what is probably the smart move. That one works because even if she shot the guy or anything like that, we don't know what happened here. I was in, I'm in a venture low. I play Monster Hunter with a bunch of my friends and we have our own vent. And so we use it to talk. So anyways, let's go with this one because this one might ease her mind a little bit. Don't worry, you're not in any trouble. We have a witness. What was behind her back though? I kind of want to know. I want to know. A carjacking. An elderly woman who was shutting her windows for the night noticed two teenagers across the street breaking the window of a car and get inside. I don't know if Anderson and Grant can handle that. This might be a mistake, but we'll respond. I would have preferred to have Samadhi and Grant go. A municipal assignment. Today, Freeberg will host a concert by pop singer Gennaro Crespo. We promised the concert. Are we? Nope, I got nobody. Sorry. Feel free to not be happy about it. Technically, that is a job for a police, but you timed it wrong. Sorry, I got nobody I can send over. I do wish that you could postpone stuff like that by three hours or something so that you could make it work. Because now City Hall is going to be all butthurt because they called me at a bad time, you know. Carjacking. Oh, they got him. Good. Fantastic. Well done, officers. Sans needs help at the Octopus Club. An engagement party turned into a bomb crisis when our guest discovered a powerful explosive under a banquet table. Our experts already defused it, but it would be nice if the police reassured our frightened guests and confirmed the situation's under control. Let's go ahead and send Kodao out there. Basically, I'm waiting on these investigations because you really, really, really don't want to fail an investigation. And so having an extra officer there is just, having the detective there is helpful in a lot of ways. There's an assault at a vegetable shop. <laughs> Did someone catch a beating? <laughs> Let us go investigate. Uh, two women and a man were seen attacking a black couple, smacking them around with boots no less. A local shopkeeper warned that he was calling the police, at which time the man ran away, but the two women continued the strange assault. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm so sorry for the puns that just happened. I'm so sorry, Nerdcastle. I'm so sorry. Investigation has started on a theft of what appears to be pharmaceuticals. 
Simona Rodriguez, the pharmacist, went to lunch for around one. A couple minutes later, the lights went out. I shut the door behind me. I remember that I bumped into the janitor's cart that was standing in the hallway. I suspect the student, Aaron, jo or Aaron Jones, he come by his hospital several times in a state of confusion with red, surging eyes, dragging his huge backpack behind him. It never occurred to me that he might be an addict. I was in the bathroom when the lights went out. The only thing I saw is what you normally see while you're sitting on the toilet. Oh, and when the janitor came into the restaurant with his cart, I heard him emptying the bin. Then the lights came on. I went to the head physician's office for his signature, but he wasn't there. Yes, I have keys to the pharmacy. I wash the floors there just like everywhere else, but I don't have access to the electrical panel. Only my supervisors have those keys. Here's another mystery. What happened to my garbage bags? Somebody took them out of my truck, and I can't find them anywhere. Last frame before the film cuts out shows the janitor going down the corridor, his, heart, or his cart standing near to the hospital pharmacy. Okay... The janitor has an ally because his cart was in the hallway outside of the bathroom, which is where he was supposedly changing the bins. It's possible the janitor went, got the drugs, put them in a trash bag, put it in the bin, then closed it off and pretend like he was changing the bins to take it out. We'll, we'll have to keep an eye on that investigation. I'll have to reread it once or twice. But we don't have any frames right now anyway, so who cares? I like to wait till I have the frames to start picking through the data anyways because it gives you a visual frame of reference for what happened. Alright, so the assault. The offender escaped. Okay. Apparently that was not enough. Three new frames. I'm of the opinion that it was the janitor. I don't actually think that it was an inside job. We don't have enough frames to fill it out anyways, but what this one is suggesting is that a doctor came, stole that, took trash bags, and cleared it on out. Less outlandish things have happened. People are always stealing pills at hospitals and stuff like that. Like, it's seriously, it's a problem. Like, my mom says they're constantly firing people for getting caught with that kind of stuff. And, like, it's a major thing. Like, they will put you up on charges. Like, it's like a federal thing or something like that. Like, the labor union will sell you out in a heartbeat that's the end of our day so let's go ahead and have it off here we'll have kudao on tomorrow now, we didn't really respond to much for sans today so that should be fine my name is flattercat thank you for joining me here at the nerdcast for the next episode of this is the police i will see you all tomorrow with another episode of our little crime drama all right how you do everybody <laughs>